New at 11, 33 World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam veterans made their way to Baltimore today as part of Honor Flight Nevada. Over the next four days, the veterans will visit their respective memorials. We sent our own Iraq War veteran, Kolowait News Now's Paul Harris, along for the ride. And he Firefighters at the Baltimore Washington International Airport showered the Southwest jet honoring Northern Nevada veterans from three wars. There was applause from inside the plane. And when the veterans walked out of the jetway. From the airport then to a Baltimore VFW as a local barbecue company donated food and a few adult beverages to the veterans. As they relaxed and got to know one another, it gave 99-year-old Cecil Quinley, a World War II B-17 pilot who was shot down over Germany and spent 19 months as a POW, a chance to thank his son Daniel, who was accompanying him on this trip. I guess I wouldn't have been coming out here if it wasn't for him urging me on. Does it make it that much more extra special? Yes, it does. Honor Flight Nevada is open to any allied veteran. And though Hazel Ryland has lived in Carson City for 44 years, she spent World War II in an artillery battery in London, hunting the skies for the dreaded V-2 rocket, many of which took out entire English city blocks. There were times when we got very frightened. Honor Flight is a way of giving thanks to our veterans who have paved the way for our freedom. But a lot of veterans, including Ryland, feel it is them who should be giving thanks and praise. I was speechless. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. it I was so overwhelmed. I, I'm so proud of everybody in America for helping us win the war, because we would have been in a pretty sticky space if they hadn't come over when they did. Tomorrow, the veterans have a full slate ahead of them with trips to the Cryptologic Museum and the Air and Space Museum. Reporting in Baltimore, Paul Harris, Colo 8 News Now.